Chapter 16. I mess up a lot. It happens. And for me, it happens a lot. It seems like it happened for me growing up more than everyone else. As a child, I would hyper-focus on patterns. They seemed to jump out at me. Where others saw nothing. For me, I saw repeatable actions. I asked myself what I could do to avoid bad results. I forgot my homework at home. I made a habit of putting it in my backpack when I was done. I was often late for school. I didn't see the importance of being on time. It wasn't like I was getting paid to be there. I didn't want to be there before 8 a.m. anyway. When I did get a job, I was rarely late. Getting paid was a good incentive. Take a good look at who you are and where you mess up in your life. Is it a mistake you seem to keep making? Yes or no? If it is a mistake that you make or have made countless times, likely you will make it again. That is, unless you change something in your life. Think of your mistake or fumbles or anything you forgot about. What is it? Does it bother you to forget it? Or maybe, or make a mistake? Yes or no? If it bothers you, then it matters. Your life matters. Your opinion matter. If you are bothered by something, it matters. At times in my life, the mountains or obstacles in my life seem too much or too tall. And seasons in my life were harder than others. How did I cope with being overwhelmed by my own mistakes? A lot of self-talk. A lot of notes. A lot of past mistakes. The key is, we don't have to get get it all right in one day. You know you, you know you better than anyone else does. I know myself better than anyone else. You can't do everything at once, so do what you can. I know I'll forget, because I know I will forget, and it will bother me. I am going to plan ahead. I, I have been invited to birthday parties. I know I'll forget. I have great friends and don't want them to be disappointed. As a result, I set alarms the day I am invited. So if you give me an inv in invite and I immediately start tapping on my phone, you know you are important. I chose not to forget you on purpose. I set the alarm for the day of the party and the location. I set an alarm for an hour before the party. I set an alarm the morning of, so I know what time to put it, put in a shower. I set an alarm. I set a reminder on my day off to buy a present. That is a lot of alarms, but I know, but I knew I would forget all of those things. Why do I know that? Because real life scenarios. Heidi, are you almost here? Text and a holy crap moment. And a thank God I had a present for my nieces randomly lying around that I could use as birthday gifts. I love my friends, but I know I will forget because I have. It doesn't matter how important the event is. I know myself. I know what I am capable of, and showing up an hour late with a kid-friendly gift is not who I want to be. I want to be better than that, so I plan to fail. I plan to forget and set an alarm or ten. Let's say I need something for work or an outing. I know I need need it and when I leave the house. I know I need it when I leave the house. What should I do? I know I will forget. I just know it because I have hundreds of times before. I have a solution. I put it in the car the night before. I plan to mess up and forget the item the next morning. I know me. I know I'm a mess. So I make a plan where I can succeed. I generally remember the thing the night before as I am about to go to sleep. Even if it's late, I try to take it out to the car right then as I thought about it. So when the next morning comes, and I'm in a huge rush because I barely left myself enough time to leave one time. I am all set when I am 10 minutes down the road and think, dear Lord, what did I? <sighs> oh, thank God. I put it in the car. If you start putting it in the car when you remember, you will thank yourself. Life is hard enough without adding on the pressure. Set alarms. Make lists. Plan to forget. When you forget, you won't be anxious, angry, or have self-loathing because it's in the car. You set the alarm. Hey, if you forget trash day, put an alarm for it on your phone weekly. It helps me a lot to add it in my phone. Let's say bills 
are your downfall. You always forget bills. Set an alarm. Set a reminder on paydays. I do something different with my bills. I don't like direct withdrawals, so most things like Prime, I pay for the year at once. I like the po I like the power to choose. I don't like my bank account to be in the negative. I have a paper. I made it on a grid. On it, I color it in when it's paid. Each box has the date the payment is due. I get paid weekly, so I make sure the next bill is paid and collared in. It helps me. Pick one thing as most important. Make sure you take steps to make it happen. Everyone has a weakness. Instead of pretending it doesn't exist, take a step or make a plan. That will help avoid the weakness. Like forgetting your, your work ID at home. Leave it in your purse, wallet, car. You got this. You know you. Make a plan that helps you be you to the fullest where you can succeed. Chapter 16. We all have bills. We got responsibilities. If you're over 18, you probably have at least one. Hopefully you're doing okay at it. But for me, I know that I mess up a lot, I fail a lot, and life just doesn't go exactly as planned unless I plan for it. And I think that's things that we forget. Sometimes we have to plan for it. We have to plan for our weaknesses, and we all have them. Sometimes we're lucky enough to have a spouse that can help us with those, and sometimes not so much. But for me, if you have some issues paying your bills and paying it on time, what I do is I have this nifty little list. So I'll read it to you. So I have, you know, car insurance, spectrum, phone bill, electric, rent, prime, friendly, you know, different things that I pay for. A lot of people have these things. And since I'm seeing it, I'm recording this around Christmas time, so I just did my nails for Christmas. Um, that would distract me if I saw the video, so I thought I'd share. <laughs> um, so anyway, if you look here, I just color it in as I go. And then when I'm done, since I put it at the end, I go ahead and I cut it off. That way my responsibilities for the year just kind of seem to shrink as I go. You know, there's better ways to do this. Some people are fantastic. They just, they got it all together. If they got enough money in their accounts, it withdraws, they don't think about it, and they just go on with their life. That's not me. I like to know when it's coming out. Sometimes my, my bank account is down to the dollar or the penny, and it's in the positive. But I do like to make sure that my bills are paid and on time and whatever's left over is present money for me to buy things like silly nails for Christmas and other occasions so wherever you're at in your life you know where you mess up make a plan that will help you not mess up in the future for me it has taken a whole bunch of junk to my car the night before and being thankful when I'm halfway to work or wherever I'm going, that it's already there. So, I don't know what you have to do to be successful, but you know where you mess up, and you know what's going to help you. So, if you take a step that helps you, in the future, you're going to be so much less stressed, and you're going to have a whole lot better self-image of yourself. And those things help you achieve your dream. Until next time. Love you guys.